In this video we're going to have a look at the taskbar settings in Windows 7. To get to that you just right click on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen, go to properties and then you're presented with the taskbar and start menu properties box. Under where it says taskbar appearance you've got lock the taskbar and I've kindly got it ticked. If I untick that I'll demonstrate what that does right now. And what you can do now is it unlocks the taskbar and you can, if you hover over the line, uh, the edge of the uh, taskbar, left click and drag upwards, you can then expand it and you can also shrink it back again. Um, also if you've got things attached to the taskbar, um, you'll see these little dots appear and you can left click and drag to expand them also. Okay, the next option is auto hide the taskbar. And Basically that does what it says really. Um, if I tick that now and if I just about press apply to keep watch of the taskbar and you'll notice it will vanish. Um, and basically it will vanish until I actually hover my mouse cursor over it and then it will appear again. So it just disappears uh, for convenience there. Okay, The next option is use small icons. If you want a smaller taskbar and you want smaller icons in the taskbar you just use small icons and it shrinks that. Um, the next option is taskbar location. If you don't want your taskbar at the bottom of the screen, you can change that to um, up the top or the bottom. So uh, let's do that now. If I change it to the top, if you watch closely at the bottom there, it will vanish and your taskbar will appear at the top of the screen. So that gives you freedom there to change um, where the taskbar is on the screen. Um, Taskbar buttons, um, you can currently, uh, currently it's set to um, always combine hide labels. So um, basically, um, you've got no labels here, no text with the icons, and they're combined. So um, it's not stretched out over the taskbar. Um, icons are kind of more organized. Um, so as you can see here, I have um, two windows open, uh, videos and pictures, and they shrunk into one. So it's a uh, safe space basically on the taskbar. Um, but if I change that right now and go to combine when taskbar is full, press apply. Uh, now they're all stretched out along the taskbar here until it actually fills up and then it will shrink. The next option is never combine. If I click on apply there, so basically that, like it says, it will never combine them. Um, it will stay large like this. Um, I can demonstrate a little bit here if I unlock the taskbar, move this address bar to simulate it shrinking. Um, as you can see, they're not combining at all. They just go like this. Uh, they're not going into one, they're just staying like that basically. Um, okay, so if I just put that back the way it was. The next option is the notification area and I'll show you where that is right now. Um, it's basically on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You see these icons right here. Um, these are the ones that are shown currently in the notification area. If I use the up arrow, these are the ones that are hidden away. Uh, and these are programs actually that are running in the background. Um, so these are basically things that you can um, control um, by going to the customize menu. You can control how they're actually shown. Um, so here we have um, our My Antivirus, Microsoft Security Essentials, which is down here, um, as you can see, shown. So let's say I want to hide that from view. So if I click on the pull down menu and go to hide icon and notifications, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's vanished and it's now in the up arrow section here. So basically what that will do is it will hide the icon and it will hide the notifications. So those notifications that sometimes pop up asking you to do things and and, and basically uh, give you information um, on what it's doing, um, they will basically won't show anymore. So um, you can control that um, using this. You can also go to only show notifications. So that means you won't, you won't see any icons appear in here, only under the up arrow button here. So you'll only show, it'll only show the notifications for that actual application. So it gives you freedom of control there. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. The next one is preview the desktop with Aero Peak, and I'll show you what that does. So if I move that a little bit over, and if you watch this window here, as I head on over to the uh, bottom right-hand corner of the screen, um, just where the time is, but going off the screen slightly and watch what happens. It vanishes like this, and you can view the desktop, and that's basically what that does. Um, but if I turn this off, go to apply, head on over to the uh, right hand corner, nothing happens until I actually click on the button and then it disappears. So that's basically what that does. Okay, the next tab um, is the start menu and 
I won't go into this top one at the moment until in a minute, um, but we'll go to this one here, the power button action. So you can control what your power button does currently by default set to shut down. You can go to hibernate, sleep, restart, etc. Next one is privacy. You can um, store and display recently opened items, uh, open programs rather, in the start menu. And you can store and display recently opened items in the start menu and the taskbar. So the things that are in here, as you can see, there'll be a whole list of recently open programs will be listed here. If I untick this right now and go to apply, that will vanish and there won't be anything shown there anymore. Uh, so that's basically what that does there. Um, if we go to customize now, um, and basically there's a whole list of stuff here that you can do. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, right here we have um, computer. And this is basically, um, if I go to start menu, it's right here. Currently it's set to uh, as a menu. So when I hover over it, it shows as a menu like this. So it shows the items within my computer. Um, if I click display as a link, press OK and apply, and then go to start menu, hover over it, nothing happens until you actually click it. So it's only working as a link and that's basically what that does. If I go customize again, you can also set it so it doesn't display this item, so it won't show this item here at all if I click on don't display this item. And this is basically the same for a lot of these options in here. As you can see, control panel, uh, documents, scroll down and downloads, um, games. You can have the option of turning favorites on, um, various different options here like network at the top here. Um, and at the bottom also it gives an option of using large icons or, or have small icons. So if you untick it, you get small icons. Um, how many recent programs are displayed right here? Um, currently set to 10, you can change that and jump list as well. Um, use default settings. If you mess everything up, just go use default settings, reverse back. Um, next option, toolbars. Uh, as you can see, I've got a dress bar selected and this is this right here on the taskbar so you can en enable or disable this option here you can have links enabled you can have tablet pc input panel desktop um, if you want to view the icons on the desktop right here you can have that option enabled if you want to go further than this and have a custom uh, custom folder um, i'll show you how to do that if you right click on the taskbar go to toolbars and then go to new toolbar and here is where you can find a folder of your choice. Uh, let's say this one here, which is actually a game folder, but it doesn't really matter, just for example. And then click on select folder. And what this does is it puts it right here so I can have quick access to that folder. And if I go to the arrow on next to it, you can expand it and view the folders that way. If I want to now get rid of the, this folder from the taskbar, right click in the space on the taskbar, go to toolbars, and then just uh, deselect. Uh, the folder and then it vanishes okay so I hope you found this tutorial helpful um, do check out my website whiteclick.co.uk and there's a forum on there also you can see more tutorials um, also don't forget to subscribe thanks so much